So, unless you've been living under a rock, you're most likely familiar with a community event called Save TF2, which has recently spread around like wildfire. The news of this spread around thanks to an eponymous hashtag to signify it. While ideas for fixing the game or getting Valve's attention existed ever since this whole issue had first begun over three years ago, the most prominent forerunner of this event is most definitely YouTuber Squimjim, who recently made a successful video on the topic. He suggested emailing Valve employees to get their attention or spread the words in other means like telling game journalists about it. But hey, if you know Valve, they're not exactly known as role models for how to conduct communication between players and game developers. So the main part of Squim Jim's plan didn't really amount to anything. But the secondary part did. Gaming news outlets quickly took notice of the growing unrest between TF2 players and thus put together several articles some of which actually report on the development of this problem in great detail. As a consequence, large YouTubers also took notice. We are now in full swing, and we may not get another chance like this again. We have to make something out of it. Well, we did. On the 24th of May, YouTuber Shork posted the famous Save TF2 poster on r slash TF2, garnering 40,000 upvotes. This was it. This was what we needed. All the big players in the community got together to galvanize their collective fans and make them spread the word. On the 26th of May, spread the hashtag SaveTF2 all over the internet. Some people shared short stories of how TF2 influenced their life, some people posted heartwarming SFMs, some people posted memes, and some just said SaveTF2. All in all, a pretty wholesome display from the community. But more importantly, what did Valve have to say about all of this? This is it, it's finally happening, Valve finally noticed us, and now they're gonna fix TF2. Gentlemen, we won the war. I wish I could say that. First of all, this account represents the TF team, not Valve. As far as we know, the higher ups at Valve may have seen this whole fiasco and went, wow, what a waste of time. Think about it for a moment, we didn't get a single new piece of information from this tweet. Valve was aware of the problem as far back as 2020, when they restricted new accounts from being able to communicate on official servers, people thought this was a temporary measure before they start tackling bots head on. That never happened. In fact, this decision only backfired. Tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of new accounts were unable to type messages, use the voice chat, or even use voice commands, while bot hosters simply switched to using stolen premium accounts. Keep in mind, some of these accounts still aren't banned to this very day, even though they infest casual servers every hour of the year. Remember that patch from last year, where they improved the vote kick system so it can't be abused as much by bots? People thought this was it. This was the first patch in a line of fixes that would finally curb the bot problem once and for all. Well, too bad for all of you, this was just a band-aid on an open wound and Valve was ready to return to their usual slumber. Remember when someone leaked that interview with Gabe Newell from New Zealand, where he was asked about TF2, and he just went, Yeah, we're aware of it, we're working on it. Now this, this was definitely it. The man himself said so, he is the one who uttered those words, and understandably, people were ecstatic about this. They were making videos left and right, forum posts up and down, TF2 is finally saved. Oh wait, except... Gabe Newell hasn't worked on TF2 in, like, forever, and just gave the most generic corporate response imaginable. So many people took his words for granted that they failed to realize how he's a spokesperson, not a developer. He'll say whatever sounds good, but not too detailed as to avoid breaking promises. Now we are here. The TF2 Twitter account posted something after a long time, and we got another generic corporate response from it. People are getting excited again, and many are calling pessimists like myself stupid, like we think we're smarter than everyone else. Well buddy, let me just remind you, you're dealing with Valve here. If they cared as much as we want to believe they do, we wouldn't be waiting over 5 years for a major update. All updates nowadays are restricted to minor bug fixes, cases with all community items, and seasonal events where they bring back old community maps and throw in some new ones for good measure. 
The game has definitely been on a steady decline in quality. Fewer and fewer bug fixes, only workshop items are being added to the game, and sometimes even that turns out to be disappointing because some of the maps being added are still in beta, while some of the cosmetics straight up look ugly. And this isn't just my own opinion. Many people have observed that Valve started handpicking items from a select few creators who follow a select few trends while making hats and unusual effects. Not only is the level of creativity dropping, but they are actively discouraging newcomers from investing time and effort into creating cool new items for the game. <sighs> I love this game. I used to play it 7-10 to 10 hours a day when I first started as a kid, and I still enjoy playing it with friends learning new things, seeing all the goofy moments it has to offer, and sharing them on YouTube. The last thing I want for this game is for it to be forgotten by Valve and keep rotting in a binary cesspool of bots being run on potato OS machines in someone's basement. I want to believe that Valve is doing something. I want to believe that they care. But they have desecrated my trust in them for so long that I can no longer stay open-minded about it. Even when people decide to make alternate TF2 mods like TF2 Classic, where the players improve the experience by themselves, Valve just shuts them down. Why did it take three fucking years to get a response for something so game-breaking, and only after a bunch of gaming outlets, YouTubers, and Twitter hashtags combined their collective clout to bring awareness? Are we just supposed to believe that Valve is finally working on TF2 again? Even if that's the case, what were they doing before all of this? Valve is a multi-billion dollar company with nearly endless resources, they built their entire reputation on customer service and glorifying community developers. Do you really think a company like Valve has no solution in their reach? Until I see a new update notification where they specifically outline measures against botting, cheating and DDoSing in casual servers, I will stay skeptical about anything they do with Team Fortress 2. And so should you. Thanks for watching.